welcome back to my channel for those of you guys who are new welcome my name is betty and i do all kinds of video you guys um so today i'm actually going to be making some frijoles or frijoles de la olla um and i'm going to do them the way that my grandmother um used to do them i pretty much don't really do frijoles de la olla you guys but when i was little um, I do remember my grandmother um, doing these frijoles and she always, you know, added a little ingredient and nothing special, but I'm going to show you guys uh, because these little things that she put into it um, bring out so much flavor, you guys. So yes, if you have not yet already subscribed, before we begin, hit that bell for notifications, subscribe, you guys. Um, so yeah. Okay, you guys, so I am going to be using um, these pinto beans, um, but you guys can use whatever beans you guys like. Um, I'm going to be using these because these are the kind that my abuela used to use. Um, and just a little background, um, I am Mexican. I am from Fresnillo, Zacatecas. Um, Fresnillo being pretty much the pueblo that people go to to buy like their groceries, um, like restaurants and stuff like that. Um, but we actually lived, or not lived because we would just go visit, but we were actually from a ranch, um, que se llama Purisima del Maguey. And um, when I was little, we used to go and visit my grandparents and family members all the time. I haven't been there in such a long time. I actually haven't been there um, ever since my grandparents passed away. Um, but I'm pretty sure it looks completely different from what I remember it. Um, but yeah, I used to love going to visit my grandparents. We would go every December. We would go for like three weeks. They would pull us out of school. They didn't give no fucks. And yeah, we would have a fucking blast out there. It would literally be me and all my siblings. We would, um, my parents would drive out there and stuff. And it'd be a fucking car packed full of fucking kids, you guys. So... Um, yeah, we would go over there for like um, los rodeos, los jaripeos, um, las bodas, las quinceañeras. It was a whole freaking vibe. Um, um, but uh, the recipe that I'm going to be showing you guys today is my mother's mother's recipe. Um, and her name is Felipa. Um, so yeah, my grandmother uh, used to love cooking for everyone, you guys. Uh, every time, like I remember even being in Mexico, she was always in the kitchen making food for everyone. Um, I remember she would even make food and breakfast and everything for the workers that would be helping out my grandfather with the barns and you know. Today I am going to show you guys how to make her frijoles de la olla. So stay tuned. All right, you guys. So first thing you guys want to do, first thing you guys want to do is um sometimes these guys have rocks in there or like um rotten beans so you want to make sure that you take all those out like in mexico i remember my grandmother um like they had costales you guys of beans and stuff and like this literally came fresh off the land and stuff and um me recuerdo que like, um, like going into the kitchen and she'd be with like her costal and stuff. And um, she'd have like, you know, little mountains of beans that she would go through and separate. Cause like, she, those would have hella fucking, you know, rocks and shit like that in them. So It wasn't no easy task, even like frijoles de la olla over there in Mexico, because it took time, you guys. All right, so these look pretty much clean. Um, so then you just want to make sure that you rinse them. You guys see how, like cloudy that water is you guys that's how you know that they're dirty and stuff so you want to do this as many times as possible 
um, until the agua sale clara. Um, I usually use, or at least like, um, I remember my grandmother always using like a deep pot like this. So we're gonna let this, so we're gonna let this boil and then add the beans, you guys. All right, you guys, so once the water starts boiling like this, you guys wanna lower it to medium and then go ahead and add your beans. Stir it a little bit. And then one of the things that my grandmother always used was half of an onion. So go ahead and drop that in. And then um, depending on how big the card leg gloves are, these are pretty small, so I'm gonna use two, but you could use one. Go ahead and drop it in. And then um, you want to, some people salt their beans um, after they're done, but I feel like you don't really get that much of flavor in them when you do that so i always just like when i do make these i always put the salt with it make sure you add enough because you're going to actually be adding more water to these you guys as they cook and you are going to let these cook for about two to three hours you guys until they're done and you're going to have to make sure that you're checking them every so often just to make sure when you're going to need to add more water. Okay, so we will be back, you guys. About an hour since they've been cooking. And this is how they're looking, but you see how a lot of the water um, has reduced. Um, so you definitely want more water than this. So I am going to add about a cup of water. Mm, probably a little bit more, you guys. Okay, so one more cup of water. It's faster, yeah, it's more more. And you see how like, they're starting to like peel open and stuff. So that means that they are doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is cooking. You want to make sure to um, taste it for salt, because like I said, um, you're adding water to it, so you want to make sure that they're seasoned. Definitely need more salt, you guys. Okay, you guys, so, oh shit. So, the beans have basically been um, cooking for about, I wanna say three and a half hours. And this is how they are looking. You know they're pretty much done because, oh shit. Here, I'm gonna pour some in here. But yeah. You know they're pretty much done because they come apart like this. So that's how you pretty much know that they're done. They're hot. All right, you guys, so now that the um, frijoles are done, um, I'm pretty much going to start making the um, frijolados. Um, for the boys and stuff. 
so i'll show you guys how i'm going to do that so i am going to show you guys two different ways to eat these frijoles so stay tuned okay you guys so i ended up putting um the chiles um and the onions in my blender and i'm going to add the beans that i just made with some of the broth as well and blend that together okay you guys you want to make sure to add the broth that you guys cook them with This is pretty much done and you're looking for it to have a consist a pretty thick consistency consti consistency sorry can't talk but yeah this is how it should be looking if you guys want them thicker just add more beans or if um you want them more watery then you just add some more water you guys Next, we are going to cook these in the olla, and I'll show you guys how to do it. You put in the oil and you start hearing it sizzle like that. You want to add your beans. And you're basically letting them cook till it comes to a boil, you guys. You guys want to put oil, oil in your pan and have it warm up on medium you don't want that much oil you guys because otherwise it's going to make your tortilla soggy and that is not what we want we want to fry our tortilla ingredients i have um purple onion tomato queso fresco i have um some salsa i was too floja to make the salsa so we ended up buying some sour cream and for the boys um it's going to be chicken shredded chicken with um queso fresco you guys so okay. let me show you guys how to build it all right you guys so you want to take your tortilla and dip it then you're going to add the inside add a little bit more queso fresco because that's what's going to make it bomb you guys You want to take some of 
the sauce and kind of just put it over it for what didn't get covered. And you do need that queso fresco. Like I said, this is pretty much like a must. And then you guys just put some crema. Make sure there's crema for all of them. And that's pretty much how it looks. And you pretty much eat it like a quesadilla. But it's with frijoles, you guys. Bomb. Okay, you guys, for my um, frijoladas and my guys' frijoladas, since you guys already know, if you guys watch my vlogs, we don't um, eat meat. So I am going to put some uh, melted cheese in ours as our filling. Okay, you guys, so I am finally done um, making this meal. So the first thing I want to show you guys is um my caldo or not my caldo okay, so this is my beans de la olla i pretty much put on um, queso fresco chile um cebolla y tomate bomb you guys and then these are my uh frijoladas and we're about to try this so, so yeah i am going to take a tortilla and roll it and taste test, you guys. Mm. Everyone from the rancho, you guys, eats um, frijoles de la olla like this, cause, mm. They're so good. And you guys, you have to make the frijoles de la olla the way that my grandmother does it because I'm telling you, that half of onion and that um, garlic brings the flavors all together, you guys. Mm. <coughs> you already know the scoop method. So good. Okay, you guys. Next is the frijolados. So I want to make sure they get the crema, the chile, and aguacate in there, you guys. Mm. Oh my god, you guys, this is so good. The little cebollas, you guys, sets it off, you guys. Fire. Mmm. I'm gonna close out this video, you guys, so that I can finish eating. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys do um, uh, try this recipe. If you do, make sure you guys follow me on all social media handles. And if you try out this recipe, make sure to tag me on it um, so I could check it out. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Um, if you not if you have not yet already subscribed, what are you guys waiting for? Join the family, you guys.